Dreallday.com. Dre Baldwin, Dreallday.com. Got a couple topics I want to talk about, but I'll pick this one. <clears throat> I think it's the most important one. It's the one that uh, sometimes gets ignored by people, and our we're so focused on the, the tangible stuff in our lives, and it's really about it's about mindset. And I talk about mindset all the time. I mean, if I had to, you know, break down of all the material that I put out over the years, from playing basketball to business stuff and you know, you know, money stuff and all kinds, talking about current events, social issues, things like that. The most important one is mindset because all of the stuff that we do or that other people do is based in the foundation of how we're thinking. And when you change how you think, it's automatically gonna produce a change in your actions. And the part specifically that I wanna talk about here is when you're in a, a challenging situation or or you're on your way to a challenging situation. You think that you anticipate that a challenging situation is coming. You're not there yet, but you think it might you might end up in a situation that's challenging. How to handle that and how to you know, how to deal with that mentally. And the thing is, first of all, just a, a logical understanding here is that when you're in a challenging situation or you anticipate one is coming, worry <coughs> excuse me, is a complete waste of time and energy. Worry is a waste of time and energy simply because the thing that's going to happen or the thing that's already happening is going to happen or not happen whether you worry about it or not. Worrying about it doesn't um, ameliorate the situation. It does not lessen the effect of the situation and it doesn't change the situation. The fact that you're worrying about it. Now, I do believe though, on the other hand, that if you change your thinking about a situation, if you find a way to frame that situation or to just uh, do the mental alchemy that will require you to change your thinking about that situation and think about it, think about it working out. Think about the positive, not looking at the situation they're worried about and saying, why is this good? I mean, thinking about what if it goes a different way, not how it is, but what if this can go a different way and you actually get the outcome that you want? If you think about that and you start meditating on that and you put yourself in that frame of mind, that can actually help the situation and make it better for you simply because you're starting to put the law of attraction into action. You're starting to. Meaning, when you start thinking about, or anything you think about, whether you're thinking about a situation as in a negative way, like worry, or in a positive way, being optimistic and you know, just think forward thinking about it, what happens is that energy, the way that you're thinking, is going to inevitably leak into your actions. It's gonna weigh, it's gonna inevitably leak into the way that you think, the way that you talk, and the actions that you take. And because of that, those actions, we all know that actions have consequences. So because of your actions, you're gonna get a certain set of outcomes. You're gonna get a certain result because of the way that you're thinking. So that worry that you have about a situation, you know, either currently or you predict not going the way that you want is only making the situation worse. Because you're not in a, when you're worrying, you're not in a completely resourceful mindset. You're not in the mindset to do anything about the situation. You're not in the mindset to come up with a positive solution to the situation. You're not in the mindset to get the outcome that you want from the situation. So all worrying does is waste time that you could be using to proactively handle that situation, that challenge, and maybe uh, get that thing moving in the direction that you wanted to get into. As you may have heard me or others say, all worrying is is a down payment on future problems. And why would you want to make a down payment on a future problem? Because if you're going to have a problem in the future, you're going to have to pay for it whether you make a down payment or not. So you might as well hold on to your money. If you, if you understand the extended metaphor that I'm making here, hold on to your money and make the payment when the payment is due, but there's no need to pay this bill early. Now, there are some bills you want to pay early. Again, it depends on the situation. For things that you want, the positive things you want, you want to make those down payments early. You want to start making those payments now so you can start feeling positively how you're going to feel in the future for the thing that you want. But the things that you don't want, you don't want to make those payments early because you're going to be feeling exactly how you will be feeling the same energy of that payment. 
So if you're worrying about something that might happen three days from now, and you are pretty sure it's gonna happen, feeling bad about it today always robs you of the next three days. Because three days from now, you're gonna have to deal with that situation either way, right? So why don't you just wait till three days and deal with the situation? If you're gonna think about that situation, think about it in terms of what can I do proactively to maybe lessen that blow and lessen the, the negative impact of whatever you think might happen? What can I do to maybe turn that situation around between now and three days from now? That's what you should be asking yourself if you're going to ask yourself anything. If you're going to ask yourself a question. That's the way you can look at the situation, but you don't want to be worrying about something that didn't even happen yet because, again, all it does is, is rob you of your time. And the reason why this matters so much is because a lot of you have ongoing situations happening in your life. You might be in a situation where the job that you have or whatever your circumstance is not paying you enough money to really uh, fund the lifestyle that you're living or to take care of yourself, your family, your kids. So you're in a constant state of worry and anxiety and just negative overall energy that is attracting more of the stuff that you don't want because you're always feeling like that. You're always thinking about that. See, it's one thing we're talking about some one-off situation that's going to come and go. It's going to happen, then it's going to be over. There's a whole other thing we're talking about something that's happening and it's going to continue to happen and it's not going away and you're always thinking about it. Therefore, your whole life is soaking in. It's immersed in this state of constant fear, worry, and anxiety. But what do you think you're attracting into your life if you're thinking like that all the time? This is not a trick question. The answer is pretty easy. It's actually pretty obvious when you think about it. You might not like the answer, but it's true. All you're attracting is more of what you don't want. So here's what I would suggest you do. Write down what you want your life to actually be like. Not what it is like, what you want it to be like. Even if you have no idea how you can make it that way, even if you don't know if it's realistic that it can ever actually occur, even if everything that's happening in your life right now is the exact opposite of it. This is why mindset has worked, ladies and gentlemen. The reason why mindset has worked is because sometimes you have to make your mind think about something that in the moment is not actually happening in front of you. It's not happening in reality in front of you, but you gotta make your mind think it anyway. This is the work part of mindset. This is why I have a book called The Mental Workbook. It is actual work. And you can get that book by going to workonmygame.com slash workbook. Write down exactly what you want your life to look like. Write it down in detail. Even if you're not sure how to do it or if you can do it or if it will ever happen, write it down anyway. And start reading it to yourself on a consistent basis. What this is going to do is it gonna, it's gonna start putting different thoughts into your mind. Because the things that you write down and that you say to yourself, your brain is gonna pick up on, they're gonna start thinking of. And if you do it over and over again, by the law of repetition, is going to start, your subconscious mind is gonna start picking up on it. And the subconscious mind is the level that you really wanna tap into. Because whatever's going on in your subconscious mind, that's really what's controlling your actions, your and your conscious thoughts and your words and everything else. Is your subconscious, not your conscious mind. Your conscious mind is considering the words that you're listening to right now as I'm talking. Your subconscious mind is, those are the thoughts that get into your mind only through the power of repetition and the power of emotion. So that's why I told you, you wanna read these things and say these things out loud to yourself over and over and over again. That's how you get the repetition working in your favor. And that's where you start to make change in your life. And this is the reason why many people don't change in life, not because you don't have access to positive thinking material on YouTube, there's plenty of it. There are books out there, there are people out there, you have access to it. The thing is, a lot of people don't do the repetitive work that makes it real, it makes it stick in your mind. That's where people fail, is the lack of repetition in doing it. And that's the part that I want you to get. You start doing that, that can really start to change everything. So I'm gonna leave you with that point right there, and that you need to stop worrying, stop making down payments on problems that you don't want, because all you're doing is guaranteeing that you get them. All that said, text me to get my daily motivation to your phone every day. My number is 305-384-6894. And go get your ticket to my next live event. It's called Work On Your Game Live. Link is workonyourgame.live. So not .com, .live. Workonyourgame.live. Get your tickets to that event. It's taking place February 3rd and 4th in Miami with me, two full days. And my free training for all you are serious about taking your business to the next level. That's at workonyourgame.net. Work on your game. Dre all.